No running today, but I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to do a nice old school bodybuilding style workout. Four sets of 15 to 12 reps on a flat bench dumbbell press at 30 kilos into some bicep curls. Stick the incline up, do some incline presses, and then finish off on some high rep press ups. Done. Max out, just keep going until you can't stop, until you stop, until you can't do anymore. So just keep going until you can't do anymore. So as I said, I did four sets of flat bench dumbbell press at 30 kilos, 15, 12, 12, 12. Three sets of incline press for 30 kilos and 20. And then you do two sets, well then I'm doing two sets of just max out press ups as many as I can until I literally can't do any more. I won't be able to get many up here because oh, the chest, oh, because the chest is pretty fatigued, so. That's it for today, that's it for Monday. I'll um, catch you up soon. Good morning, it's uh, Tuesday morning, just out on about a 90 minute run just taking it very easy um my heart rate monitor thing is the strap's bloody broken and this is doesn't work when it's cold so i'm just gonna go by rpe around about sort of five six uh for about 75 to 90 minutes so also i briefly touched on uh, a new development that i'm doing 10th of july i'm running around the isle of wight on the coastal path which is about 106 kilometers uh, from a place called Cows to Cows. It's got quite a bit of elevation and the trails are all quite quite sandy and, you know, sort of cliffy. 15 weeks now to get myself all lined up. So I've been chatting with Rye, Rye Webb and putting a, putting a rough plan together. Uh, but I'm following, I mean, every week I follow his schedule. Uh, it's pretty much to try and follow it as much as possible. He's the one that keeps encouraging me to make sure I fuel up and get to get some calories in, especially around the runs. And I gotta say, it really, really does help. get more practice in on the downhills. Pick up the feet more, get a much higher cadence going down rather than stomp. Yep, running is definitely a skill and the more good practice you do, the better. Definitely find running more and more almost every day where it's really beneficial. But of course, rest days are uh, vital, as we all know. So, anyway, so that's Tuesdays. Tuesdays run done, 90 minutes, around about well, 16 kilometers, trails up and down, it's going very easy. RP around about five or six. Tuesday done. I was going to, all I wanted to say was just a little bit concerned about the Tim 3s, a little Tim 3 update, because the, um, the little plastic overlays, they, they, they seem very, very weak and a bit almost hate to say cheap um, they're already wrinkling up a little bit I think somebody's already commented actually that they are starting to look a bit wrinkled and I've only used them twice so whether they hold any support or any structure to the shoe this this is only you know we're gonna have to find out when literally in probably a few weeks time because I can see they're gonna start to fall apart so again we have a question with the durability on the tim 3s it's annoying because it's a great shoe but they just can't seem to get that durability that that i just don't think the upper the fabric is actually made of very strong material um they should wax some of that um uh that kevlar style material the matrix that they have in the speak in the speedo uh, evo 
That Evo, uh, that is just, that's not going to rip. Good morning. It's, uh, it's just about 10 to, six, 10 to 7, Wednesday morning. It's a bit chilly, the face is a bit cold. Um, but I've just finished uh, run number one today. Just an easy 12 kilometers. And then about six, seven hours later, I'm gonna try and get another run in. So double run Wednesday, but uh, it's a nice springy day. The sun's popped up, the sky is kind of blue. It's still pretty chilly. Right, so that's a nice easy 13 kilometers, just under. Get some proper food in now. So basically that second run didn't really quite work as well as I had planned. Um, I should have left it much longer. Uh, I should have actually done it in the evening, not lunchtime. That was just not long enough. A second run should be done, you know, morning first run, evening second run. But uh, I've got stuff going on this afternoon. I've got to pick up the kids and also I don't really like running in the evening. But that's one of the main reasons why I think doing these double runs is really good for me especially because I hate running in the afternoon to evening. So it's important to take yourself out of the comfort zone. So by doing stuff that you don't like doing, that's that's when I think you start to um, have the best results, best adaptations. I think the, uh, the double runs are a great way to obviously increase your mileage. Um, instead of doing one giant long run in the morning, you can split it up over time. It's also a good way just to kind of teach your body to almost recover quicker because obviously there's a less gap in between runs. So every, every, every now and then, if you do a double run, your body's just then sort of stressed out a little bit more. So you have to recover quicker. So therefore it, it just gives your body, a, you know, some stimulus that it's needed to um, speed up the recovery process. Still 90 minutes for today and um, 90 minutes yesterday. And I don't, I can't remember what I've got planned for tomorrow, but yeah, we'll I have to see what that is. Anyway, there it is. That is Wednesday done. Morning, it's Thursday morning. I'm just about to drop off Margaret School and then I'm about to head out onto a pretty steady 75 minute run with and finishing with 10 times 90 seconds all out 5k efforts um, sort of intervals in the Hocker Spigo Evos. Obviously, as you know, that I'm used to um, wearing ultra shoes, but I'm a big fan of Hocker. I went for the wide before, but actually, as I said in my initial re review, that vamp up front. It really works to help open up and uh, stretch out. So let's get running. Okay, that's an hour, an hour done. 12, just over 12 kilometers, uh, about 4.57 per kilometer pace. Just to continue the chats in regards to the Speedo, Speedo Evo, I've now done about 50 kilometers in them, which isn't a huge amount, but it's enough to tell that uh, actually it's a really good shoe um, and it works really well for me. Uh, I'm not uh, finding it too narrow. If I was true, you know, if, if I was honest, I'd love it if it has a bit more space, if there's just a bit more, um, a bit more width, it would be even better. But it's okay. I mean, I think, I don't think I could use it every day because I think I just enjoy the space of the ultra too much. But I think two or three runs a week, or out of six maybe, or even maybe a bit less, two, you no know, one or two out of out of six runs in a week, no problem at all. In fact, and as I said on my run, I really enjoy that midsole because it definitely has a, definitely has a much more of a responsive ride. Um, not responsive, but more of a bouncier ride. But you do lose a little bit of um, ground feel because you're just a little bit high up, 
not massively, but you do lose a bit of ground feel. You know, yeah, ideally a bit more space would be great, but you know, I'm not, um, I haven't had any issues, no blisters, no, no cramping, no, no pain, no toes, toenails or anything problems. So all good so far. That's Thursday, Thursday done. That's it, that's it for Friday. So basically, so far this week, uh, Monday to Friday, 50 kilometers running, uh, a few sessions in the gym, and a couple of other bits and bobs, but nothing too crazy. And the weekend, I have hopefully a couple of fairly decent long runs back to back to up the mileage for the week. And there we have it. So yeah, as you saw, a couple of reviews about the updates in regards to Timp, Timp 3s. We had the, uh, the Speedgoat Evo as well. Um, great shoe, that one. Uh, the double run day on the Wednesday, which didn't work out so well. Um, so yeah, experimenting with a few things, but um, most importantly, just ticking along and all is well. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to cut it here because it's probably gone a bit long now. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and notification bell button to get notified of any more videos like this. And that's it. Right. See you soon. Take care. Bye.